Hello everyone, this is Sims and Wins, and we are back with another episode of our Sims 2 Build a City Challenge. And um, I hope you enjoyed the little um, anniversary uh, upload uh, recently. Uh, we did a population count, so we still don't have a downtown, but we're getting close to 10k. Um, so, we're back at the start of the cycle, and that means that we are playing... Um, so we are here and we are going to be playing Scott Richardson, the mayor, and um, his newly graduated son and his fiance or girlfriend and his other son, uh, Roman, I think is his name. And I do believe that Scott is ready to kick the bucket, and um, which is why in the last video I put up um, a new um, election. So we're going to be voting for mayor again. And to remind you, I don't think I have it written down here. I think I have it written down in my um, Google Docs, which I'm not going to minimize and find right now. But in the last episode, episode, it wasn't an episode, it was like an upload. Um, so it doesn't have a number on it. But in the last upload, you will see um, the traits at the end of the episode for the politicians. Write a comment and uh, make a vote so we can decide who the next politician is and what benefits he will bring to the neighborhood. Um, so let me check here. Uh, I do believe he is about to die. Yes, I think he will die at the end of the sim week. And even if he doesn't die, like even if he manages to survive this week, I still think we need a new mayor because um, he's going to be like old and senile anyway, right? Um, so yeah, let me remind myself where these people live. Did I build this house? I think I built this house. Yes, I did. Um, so this is one of my builds. That's why it's ugly. Uh, yeah, I must have built this. This looks like me. Okay, so it's not a bad house. It's It could be worse. Um, it's a little bit big, but it's fine. Um, so, as a reminder, um, let's check here. So, Scott Richardson, his grandfather... Thomas Richardson and his grandmother, Jill Richardson, were the founding family, the founding family, because the Richardsons were the first family we placed in this neighborhood. It was Thomas Richardson that we started this neighborhood with, who became a plant sim, who made money gardening, and he had his toilet outside because there was no indoor plumbing. Like, it was Thomas Richardson that we went through this initial hustle with. Uh, and he had a, his first birth son was Robert and Robert and his wife, Brandy, ended up having two children, Scott and John. I do believe they only had two children, yeah. So Scott and John. Scott ended up becoming mayor when we unlocked the mayor um, feature. And um, he ended up marrying a townie. And they had two sons, Grayson and Roman. Now, Grayson just finished college. Uh, we placed him back with his father. And um, he is with Peyton Fairchild, who I think we found out last time. They are like first cousins or something. Um, let me just double check. Yeah, they are first cousins because Nathaniel is her. Nathaniel. Okay, I explained this last episode. But their grandparents basically were siblings. So her and Grayson's grandparents were siblings, making them second cousins. But you know what? We're going to overlook that. And little Roman here is going to be going to college as well. Um, I don't think I have him paired with anyone yet. Um, but at some point I will pair him off. And I will probably have him not stay here. He will find his own house or live with his spouse. I don't know what's going to happen. But all right. So that is their... Um, backstory where are we gonna have the couple live so we've got grandma and grandpa in one room we've got the teenager in another room and i guess this room can be i'm gonna make this room be uh peyton and grayson's room and i'm not sure like how i want to do this in our i always use this furniture this furniture is gorgeous who's who made this ats by sandy okay this furniture i always use this it's like, oh, not this one. It's like a staple in all of the rooms that I build. Uh, this set, a lot of my houses have this set. Um, I don't have a lot of custom content. Uh, I try not to download too much because last time I like broke my game and I couldn't get into the game. And when I finally removed a bunch of custom content, this was the only custom content that didn't like ruin everything. So I am going to just keep using my safe custom content. It's okay. Uh, I don't mind having repetitive um, builds as long as it looks okay. Okay, so um, let's get these guys in careers. So she wants to be a space pirate. 
So, oh, I forgot to turn off um, Sim Shadows. I always do. Prop Sim Shadows off. My God, this keyboard is awful. Um, so recently my niece and nephew were over playing with my daughter. Those kids are wild. Um, one of them broke my keyboard. <laughs> he came. He just like banged on it. And then after he left, my keyboard stopped working. So I had to buy a new one. And I was really cheap about it. I bought a 10 euro keyboard. And I have to press really hard on the keys in order for the keys to like work. Um... Oh, yes. Okay, we found her dream job here, adventurer. Uh, so she's got to raise mechanical skills, so we'll just go do that. So I've decided that I'm just going to throw them a very brief wedding party. We're not going to invite Hunter because we don't have any problems. Um, but let's invite some of his family members, the Richardsons. Um, any other Richardsons here? Wow, he knows a lot of people. Does he actually know all these people? Or... Anyway, so we invited a bunch of Richardsons. Um, let's go serve some food. You need to change out of your underwear, my girl. And uh, maybe put on, like, your formal clothes. Um, he also needs to change. I'm hoping that he'll do that now soon uh, i don't have another dresser do i okay um did i say plan outfit or change into oh she's planning no i don't want you to plan too late to plan just change into your formal clothes please um okay it seems that's that's what everyone's doing i just want to get them married real quick um so he is going to give her the richardson last name so he is going to choose to get married and hopefully everyone makes it to their seats in time. All right. Oh, grandma's still in her underwear. Happens. Okay. It's fine. Uh, let's get everyone seated watching the wedding. Wow, so many Richardsons in one place. Raphael Richardson, Liam Richardson, John Richardson. I don't know who this is. I did not invite that girl. <laughs> um, we got the Picasso guy from college. <clears throat> Sorry, from college that they went to. Uh, Eloise Richardson, they are getting married. Um, let's take a screenshot of that kiss. And, um, well, I'm going to need to turn off the camera to take a screenshot. One moment. All right, and on with the wedding festivities. So she is officially a Richardson, and now they are going to cut the cake. And hopefully everyone will come serve themselves, have some good food. Um, and great. So everyone seems happy. Lovely. Okay, so I got them married, so now they're good to have kids. Um, I'm going to try to have people have more kids. Unless y'all go and vote in whoever it was who had a one-child policy. <laughs> okay, don't do that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm going to try to have people have as many kids as possible, hopefully, hoping to raise the base population so that the multiplier gets bigger. I'm also going to have them go on a honeymoon. So they have a property. I just have them... I just had them buy a property in one of the vacation areas. I'm going to have them build it up a little bit because I feel like it's kind of cheaty that I've been buying properties but not building on it. So I'm going to have everyone who owns a vacation lot actually build a viable house there so that it actually counts nicely as a community lot and it's not cheaty so that we add to the community lots so that we increase our multiplier because this cycle I will hit 10,000. I will. I'm not even joking. Okay. And we also need to take the leftover money that he's going to have and um, definitely pay off the debt that the town is in. Because the town... Ugh, Grandma just farted at the wedding table. <sighs> Grandma. Um, we definitely need to pay off that debt before the cycle ends so that we can build more community lots at some point or buy another neighborhood. Like maybe we can buy another vacation neighborhood and get all those community lots, you know. Um, so, yeah. That's the plan. Uh, let me play this out and I will let you know if anything interesting happens. Imagine my surprise when I found out they already own two vacation houses. So they've got this one in Zakynthos. They've got the Brickstone Chateau. As far as I'm concerned, they own that. And they own this one. So this one is already, um, I think I had furnished this one if I remember correctly. Uh, so I guess those two count, and I guess we just have to finish this empty lot. All right, so they already own three vacation houses. Well, um, okay, well, the mayor has been having the good life. Um, it's time to choose a new mayor because I'm sure 
there's been some improper use of funds here, <laughs> Mr. Scott Richardson. Oh, uh, man. Can't believe our third generation is about to die. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so first of all, I... Well, did I take the couple on vacation, furnish a mountain house, and then leave the vacation immediately without showing any of it on camera? Yes, I did. Uh, I will put up a speed build of that vacation house. It was not a big deal. Uh, I just kind of rushed through it just to add a community lot to the neighborhood. Um, the interior was not designed well. So it's kind of like a rush little speed build that I'm going to post at some point. Um, but their dog is dying. <laughs> Poor Buffy is going now. Um, bye bye, Buffy. It was nice. It was nice having you. Um, yeah, and I did have him try for baby. I don't think she got pregnant. I wasn't paying attention to whether the song came on. Um, but yeah, I do not think that she became pregnant. Unfortunately, Miss Jane Fairchild. So we're gonna have to try again. I need them to have a baby because this guy is gonna go to college as soon as he finishes his homework. Like as soon as he's Roman is finishing his homework, and I'm sending him to college. And then Scott at some point is going to die. Hopefully this week. <laughs> okay but um if not he will die at some point he's very old um and his wife is much uh younger than him can you leave melody tinker um and yeah uh that's basically it so i'll let you know if and when she does have a baby that's that all right so i'm sending roman to college um and he owes about 7500 intuition um so we are going to just pop that in scott's um inventory here let's see well how can i make a nice 7500 even is there a way to do this i don't remember how i just okay we've got about 65 and then you need another thousand basically um a thousand something here a thousand. why does everything have like weird prices he must have some kind of um, benefit that gets him things cheaper. Um, he does have a couple of things for the tuitions that we paid for already, so he's gonna die with those in his inventory, and we paid for Roman's tuition, so now Roman is leaving. Goodbye, Roman. Um, enjoy college, and, uh, now the house has gone to about, has gone down to four people, of which one is hopefully going to die soon. <laughs> soon. <laughs> All right, so first of all, I'm recording with my camera off because it's like two days later. I just got out of the shower. I've got a towel in my hair. I'm in my pajamas. Uh, I don't need to distract you guys with my ugly mug right now, but um, Peyton is in labor, so I'm curious to see what she's having. Uh, let's see. Oh, twins! There's two new babies in the family. Lovely. Oh, I love teen babies. What is it? It's a girl and a girl. Oh, it's two girls. Beautiful two new baby girl Richardsons in my neighborhood. I always have a problem with baby names, though. What are we going to name the girls? Um, I don't know. Have I had uh, a Darlene? Seems a little old school, but like a Darlene Richardson might work. Um, Darlene and Diana? Have I had a Diana? I don't think I've had a Diana in my game yet. At least I don't think so, because I have accidentally repeated names before. So I'm not 100% sure. I try not to repeat the names. But I think we're going to go with Darlene and Diana. Uh, two D names that I believe I have not had yet. Um, remember to leave baby names in the comments. That always helps if you think I haven't had them already in the neighborhood. Um, so they've just got two new babies in the family. It's time to make a nursery for two little baby girls. Um, so let's do that very quickly. I'm, I'm kind of basic with this stuff. I like literally don't care that much about the baby rooms. I just add the standard crib, whoops, a uh, changing table, a toy box, and I literally don't care. Okay. Um, I also just add this in already. Uh, what, I, what I also do with the babies um, is I put in the milk thing for when they're toddlers so that I can speed um, through their things. What's this? Oh, uh, I guess we can do that. All right. Uh, so she's all ready to go. She's got the twins in here. Put in crib Darlene and put in crib Diana. 
We should also add a trash can in there for the milk bottles and likely a small fridge just so that it's easy for her to feed them. All right. Uh, nice. That's basically uh, that. So she's had the babies. It's Saturday, so I probably won't update this family again. I'm just going to finish the sim week. And um, actually, I will probably have to update when Scott dies, actually. That's kind of important to do. I think update when, when when the mayor dies. Okay, so I'll wait for him to die and I will update you guys. All right, so it finally happened. Um, Scott is Scott is is going, guys. The uh, the mayor is going to with the Grim Reaper here. I'm going to see if I can screenshot this for the thumbnail maybe. Um, I do have another screenshot for the thumbnail, but like maybe like this is like a little better. You know, um, the mayor being taken away by the Grim Reaper. All right. Uh, maybe I'll use that for the thumbnail, but yeah. Uh, Scott is dead, people. So again, Scott was which generation? I think the third generation, right? Yeah, so Scott is third generation. One, two, three. The third generation is dying, guys. John is the next family we're going to play, and they're basically ready to um to soon die i think um so yeah this is but we do get lots of simoleons um oh right we had one of the uh, vacation lots transferred um to marissa let me just sell these real quick um so we're gonna we're about to get a lot of money i'm probably gonna take away some money for the town funds uh, since they already furnished their third lot. So they, these, this family has three vacation lots in the neighborhood. So they're kind of really supporting the neighborhood by adding things that count as community lots. Um, so she's already made food. She ate. Um, the girls are all right. All right. So um, that's basically the end of the sim week. Um, I'm going to transfer this to the cemetery. Um and I will finish off the sim week one more day and I'll see you in the next family. All right, guys. So the next family, the second family in our neighborhood is John Richardson. So John Richardson is um, the, the, he's Scott Richardson's brother. Okay. Um, so the family we were just at, Scott Richardson, the mayor who just died. John is his younger brother. And John had married a townie named Daphne who is about to die. Um, so she's about to die. But they had two daughters. Two, what is wrong with me today? They had two kids. Um, one of which is Eloise. Who I believe. I believe she's going to marry my sim self's son. When we get to them. And they had a son named Dalton. Who would he will be going to college very soon. I'm kind of sad that his mom is dying before he goes to college. I think she... Either there's a glitch in my game with the ages or... Um, she was just significantly older than John. I don't remember her being that much older than John when he married her. Sometimes the game glitches my ages a little bit. Um, so I'm not sure why John is so young and she was so old. But it makes more sense that John should be older. Unless she was just a lot older than him. But the Grim Reaper has come for Daphne here. Okay. Um, we did get a huge payment though, of course. So we're going to have plenty of, at least she finished the turkey before she went. She was cooking turkey. Um, no, don't eat. <sighs> don't eat the turkey. <laughs> don't eat the turkey. School the dog. Okay, put away leftovers. Um, okay, so, yeah, we're going to move her grave um, to the cemetery. I do need to go organize the cemetery a little bit, I think. Um, they just got the money. So, um, I am going to also add... So, the last family, they donated 90000 I wrote it down here. And I'm going to probably have them donate um, 100 Um they own Richardson Home. I did a little bit of work there. Um, that's the furniture store. Um, so I did have, before Daphne died, I had her go while the others were at work in school. Uh, make a little bit of money. It's not exactly a top star yet. It's at, at 10 stars. And at 10 stars, what I do is I sell it and then give the town a $50,000 bonus. 
Um, that has not happened yet, so we're not going to sell that yet. But they do have a piece of property. I do not believe that they own any vacation homes. Um, that I do not believe they do. Um, I don't think he owns many lots. I just want to make sure. They have Richardson Home. And that should be it, yes. So that is their singular lot. They do have a lot of money. Um, but I want to... <clears throat> give away this money to the town so that we can pay off our debt quickly. So actually, maybe I'll just do an easy 90, 90K, so that I can just give the exact amount in these statues. Ugh, what a pain. What a pain. Okay, I'll, I'll deal with the statues <laughs> and, um, and give away 90K to the government. And maybe I will let you know when this kid goes to college. And, uh, yeah, we're going to wrap up this house pretty fast. All right, so I've come to the end of the sim week with John Richardson. I'm sitting here at Richardson home, and he just made it a rank 10 business. So um, the next time we come to this household, which will be when his son Dalton is finished with college and is living with his father again, he's going to have to teach Dalton um, some of these traits that he's learned, and then we will possibly consider selling it then and having Dalton um, make his own business, I think. Oh, my my dryer is yelling again. Um, but yes, um, I think it's better to start a new business with the perks that you get from the previous ones so that you can get that money again, that free money that you get um, in this tree here. Um, so yeah, that's basically the end of the sim week. So I'm going to close up shop, spend the rest of the, his day on his needs. And um, yeah, let's make sure. Oh, okay. He needs to bring up customers here. Um, so I'm going to go fix my dryer up and uh, I will let you know if, uh, what am I talking about? I'm going to see you in the next household. All right, so um, the next family on our list is the Oakstead family. So this is Mark Oakstead with his son Dylan and his wife Jeriana Oakstead, who used to be Jeriana Brown, uh, one of the many, uh, one of the ten children from that household. And they have two kids, James and Nicole. And off the bat, I can already see that he is literally about to die, and they're loaded with cash, and they even have the lamp. Um, so I'm thinking we're gonna rub the lamp and get all the money we possibly can um, so that I can donate it to the house immediately, to the to the town immediately, put the statues in his inventory, then when he dies, you know, um, he's already got a lot um, that he's taking with him to the afterlife, never to be seen again, money that was donated. Uh, so we should do one final big donation right on the at the get-go here. Um, Wow, at this point, at this, I've already raised 180,000 for, for the town uh, funds. Oh, I forgot to turn off shadows. So I've already um, donated 180. I'm probably going to get another 150. So that's like a third of our... That is a third of our... Um, wow, I'm like not thinking right now. What am I trying to say? A third of our debt already paid off okay all right so let's have them all wish for money so that we can collect it um okay let's have her do it let's have him collect uh, as far as i could tell they don't have anything that i need to sell in their inventories because you know sometimes when they shop at other people's stores i sell what they buy as extra money that just goes back to the town um so, okay, that's a nice and round 200,000. So, uh, the rest they can actually have for themselves, but I am going to go through the process of getting these statues here. Uh, no, I do think these are... Oh, why are they at a discount? Okay, he has some kind of um, perk, I guess. Uh, these are too big, and I don't feel like doing this one at a time. So, I'm probably going to find something... A little bit more uh, easy to count up and to place. This is about five, so uh, five, ten, fifteen. You get what I'm gonna do now and put them in his inventory. So when I'm done and something interesting happens, I will let you know.
Okay, so Mark Oak said is likely to die in about 50 sim minutes. So um, let me just explain who he is. I'm not exactly sure how he's still alive. His brothers have been dead for a while. Um, I think maybe his age glitched because his wife died a long time ago too. So maybe his age glitched and he's actually older than the game says he is. But for some reason he's still alive. So he's about to die though. Um, so he is actually the second generation of the second founding family. So after the Richardsons moved in, Matthew Oakstead moved in, who married Gretchen, and they had three children, uh, John, Christopher, and Mark. And um, yeah, so he's a second generation. I'm really not sure how he's still alive. But his brother died a long time ago. Christopher died of old age. John Oakstead is the man who the gold digger, I even forget the gold digger's name, um, arranged with the witch to have murdered so that she can inherit all his money. She had twins by him. Um, so yeah, his brothers are dead and he is the second generation and he had two sons. He had David Oakstead and Dylan Oakstead. And Dylan married Jeriana Brown, as I said, and they had two kids. Um, his other son, David, is married to one of the aliens and they've got two kids, Persephone and Penelope. Um, but Mark is about to die and join his late wife, uh, Brittany Oakstead, who died a long time ago. Um, so uh, let's just pretend that this guy is abnormally old. Like, he's like really old. Like he's got to like, let's just say he's like 110 or something. Like he's old. Okay. Um, Cause the rest of my people are like two generations ahead of him. Three. Uh, so he should have been dead. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's fast forward a little bit. The Grim Reaper is going to come any day now. He's getting up. Grim Reaper's coming. He will be coming momentarily. No? Oh, you live to see another day. Wow, this guy is a real miracle. <laughs> okay. All right, so this time I'm 100% sure he's going to kick the bucket. There's just no way he's going to live again, right? An extra day? No, I doubt it. Okay, also the toddlers, well, the, the children, the twins are now toddlers. I don't really concentrate on toddler looks. I'll wait for them to be children or teenagers before I actually try to fix them up a bit. But in about 10 seconds, um, Mark Oakstead here is going to bite the dust. Mm -hmm. So, historical moment happening here. There he is. Okay, I was going to say, there's no way he lives again another day. Yeah, okay, so the Grim Reaper has come to take our Mark Oaks that I remembered. I used to make fun of this sim a lot. Like, I used to, like, zoom in on his face because he was really ugly. And I used to, like, zoom in on his face and be like, this is a face only a mother could love. He was a really ugly sim, and his, his genes did get passed down, unfortunately. Like, if you look at his son, Andrew, you know, um... Poor Andrew here took after his father. Um, he's got those like very strong features. Yeah, not 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 the greatest look here, but you know what? It's okay. It happens. Um, but yes, Mark Oakstead is now dead. Uh, we will get be getting some money. I'm gonna keep the money for them because maybe they'll get like a. I'm gonna have them buy a vacation lot probably to add to the community lot count. Um, but yes, Grandpa is now dead. Let is let's move his grave to the cemetery. Um, I'll probably go organize the cemetery at the end of this episode. Um, I should have saved before I did that because sometimes that could glitch. Okay, so uh, this house tends to be a little bad in terms of frame rate. Uh, it had a lot of it had I took them out. I had a lot of these bushes, and I, I sold them because I was wondering whether that was the reason why it was so laggy to play here. Ooh, your son needs some attention here. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be raising these kids. Um, they also own a car dealership. That's why they're so rich. Uh, Mark Oak said had a car dealership. He was partnered with his brother Christopher, who, owned, who opened a car dealership elsewhere. Also... Um, so these guys got very rich. The Oaksteads got very rich selling cars. Uh, and they still have the car dealership. So I do need them to maintain that. Um, because that is mainly the biggest reason why, number one, the Oaksteads got very rich. And number two, why the town got rich. You know, the town was able to make a lot of community lots based off of the taxes 
that this this family line provided. Uh, so the oak sides are very, very important. I would say for a time period, and possibly even now, like if I were to calculate all their net worths, I'm pretty sure the oak steads are richer than the Richardsons. Um, they have more money uh, in their family, I think. Um, not that it matters much, but uh, yeah, so uh, I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next household. All right, so it's a couple of days later, and I'm finally finished playing uh, the Oakstead family. So um, as I've mentioned, um, this guy, Mark Oakstead, is dead, and it's just Jeriana and Dylan raising their children, Nicole and James, who have turned into children, well-adjusted little children. They don't look so bad. The boy looks okay. The boy got good genes. The girl I'm not too sure about we'll see my problem is well she's about to get promoted and be at the top of the career I think so she'll be good something's wrong with him with uh Dylan here like can you just take a guess at what's wrong here <laughs> where's Dylan he's technically right there except he's invisible I don't know why so if I tell him to come to the car, you know, he's there. You can see his Simbob, Plumbob, sorry. You can see his Plumbob, but you can't see him. You just see this little ring that I suppose is his wedding ring, but he is invisible. I have no idea how this happened. I just, I just noticed it. Like uh, the previous Sim day, he just... He was fine all week, and then suddenly he turned invisible, and I don't know how to fix it. I can't even... Oh, wait. No, I don't think I'm clicking him. I'm clicking the car. Like, I, I don't want to click the car. I want to click him. I can't click him to force debug. Like, I can't... Oh, she got promoted. I can't reset him, basically. Um, I don't know if there's a way to do that. It seems to... like set reset all sims like what if I do reset sims is that a thing reset sim Dylan Oakstead no I don't know I don't know like how to do that so I'm hoping that eventually when I come back to this family he'll be fixed maybe um so I'm aware that this family has 50000 in their funds. I don't think I'm going to take any more from them because they already took 200000 So I think that's enough. You know, okay, we have to let the rich keep something. And um, I do think this video is getting long, so I am going to wrap it up here. Next episode, we will be taking a look at the three families in the hills. And I want to remind you, this is your last opportunity to vote for mayor. So at the next episode, we're going to decide who's mayor. So far, Grayson's winning. <laughs> so please go vote. Um, go vote. Um, so you can see details on that in the um, end of the anniversary video. So it's not an episode. The previous upload to this is an anniversary video. At the end of the video, I give you details on the mayors and their traits. Please vote on who should be the next mayor, because as of next episode, their policies will stand. Okay? All right. So I hope you have a great day or night or whatever it is in your part of the world. Take care and bye-bye.